Welcome back, you guys, or if it's your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by as, yes, I have gone green, and uh, you'll see what I mean in just a minute. I have experimented with the new masterful all green economically sensitive deck. Yes, as you'll see, every single card involves green. Even the expo, of course, the background there, and you've got the log. Well, the log is green. I mean, it used to be a tree, right? There's also some green in the background. We've got the Spear Goblin Hut, obviously, spawning those little green spear shooting guys. Spear chucking, spear throwing, and of course the mirror just to make a little more green goodness all over the place. And so this is our deck, and we went out and found a level 10, thank goodness, to face with the green deck for the very first time. And so far, so good. Things look like they're working out right up until I see the Sparky coming down the lane. Uh, yeah, not really prepared for a Sparky, don't really have any specific cards to counter that Sparky, but hopefully these Spear Goblins will cause Sparky to discharge and I can do my best with. How about Mirrored Dragons? Get those dragons in there and pour fire down onto that Sparky. Right there, trying to keep it away from the tower, that works out. Sparky down, Giant down, and now the log to take out the princess, there she goes. All right, so we got her out of the way. Just a level one log right now, but we will take care of that shortly. The goblin barrel in at the same time as the dragons. He's got a log of his own, surprising. He's got a log, I've got a log, we've got logs, love the log. And we just about got that tower down. So feeling pretty good right here. Going to go ahead and try to defend a little bit, throw the goblin hut down, distract that giant, and Sure enough, here comes another Sparky. This time he's going on the opposite side. A single spear takes down the first tower, so we are ahead 1-0. And now I'm thinking, is it Expo time? Maybe, no, maybe Dragons. Yeah, a couple of Dragons. Probably we will mirror the Dragons once again, and this should hopefully be just as effective as it was last time. And now that I'm focused on defense, I can use the Goblin Barrels right in the mix there, along with the Spear Goblins, and sure enough, we protect the tower, not a single charge from Sparky gets in. And now I've got triple dragon action. The log, once again, a lifesaver, taking down those princesses. The dragons, the goblin barrel, also going to work to take down the princess. All sorts of dragon fire breathing action, and they really saved my butt, I have to say. In this green deck, the dragons were key. And now we're going to go ahead and troll, dropping the expo on the other side of the river. It's so dirty. It's so dirty, but there it goes. It actually is working out. Gonna take Sparky down, I love it. Sparky goes down, time is going to run out, and amazingly enough, we are going to grab the one crown win with the Gone Green Galadon deck. The Gone Green Gala deck. The Galagon Green deck. Anyway, with this deck. So, confidence boosted. I am brimming with confidence about this amazing, economically sensitive deck. So we go back out, and what do we find? A level 12. Now, I was not so excited to see this. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the crying oops emotes because he doesn't realize what he's up against right here. But I don't have a good feeling about this, so we're going to try to learn from the last battle. It seems like the Goblin Hut is a great card. Right here, we see he's got the Prince, so the Goblins are going to do well to stop to absorb that charge, and then we'll get some Dragon action down here. Again, Dragons did so well last time. Those maxed out Dragons, and we're going to try to squeeze in another Goblin Barrel. Got to get that offensive damage in, and sure enough, Goblins are going to go ham on that tower. No counter whatsoever, and the tower down to below 50%. There is a log on the print. Wait, that's a level four princess. That's a level, no, the log. I don't love the log so much, at least not the level one log. Obviously, we need to do something about that. So I've got another goblin hut down here, hoping that those spear goblins, there we go, can take the princess down and help protect that right tower while somehow we can get the last 1,000 hit points or so off of that left lane tower, and maybe, just maybe, we've got a chance at winning this. And no sooner do I say that than we see a giant P.E.K.K.A. drop down, but here comes double goblin barrel action. That's right, I'm hitting him with both barrels, and they are on the tower. Look at that damage. The spear goblins as well tower down, and a little bit of damage on the giant P.E.K.K.A. All right, so again, now we can shift our focus completely to defense. Goblin Hut gonna try to grab that attention of the P.E.K.K.A., get it away from the tower, and now 
Log, no. Goblins might work out. We got a mini P.E.K.K.A. in there as well. We need some dragons. We need anything. Maybe Goblin Barrel. Oh, to stop the Ice Wizard and the Princess back here. That could work out. Ice Wizard turns around. Mini P.E.K.K.A. got to the tower, though. Not good. Oh, that tower's in big. Oh, freeze spell. Insult to injury. I have no chance. All right, time to think about the right lane. Because, yeah, that was history. Okay, uh-oh. Now he's pushing three crowns. We've got to stop this real quick here. Goblins, goblin huts. Lots of green guys going all over the place. Finally getting the prince down. The musketeer, she should be handled. Another goblin hut. We've got to try to push. We've got damage on that right lane tower already. About 30 seconds left. We're going to ignore the musketeer. And again, push more green down the right lane. And here it comes. The Expo. Get in there, goblins. Come on, goblin barrel. Expo combination. This is epic. This is OP. There it goes. Expo and goblins on the tower. Look at all these goblins. They're everywhere. And yes, they're going to get the job done. Another tower goes down. I can't believe it. Dirty, rotten Expo. I feel dirty. I am taking a shower after this episode, I promise. And probably with the iPad. But in the meantime, another Expo down just as protection. And somehow, we win this one. Two crowns to one. Even getting a well played from our opponent. So we will push on and try this one more time. But first, I'm thinking maybe it's a good idea to upgrade some of these cards. The log, I finally got a couple of logs in the shop. Uh, and the Expo, obviously never maxed that out. The Goblin Hut. So we are going to focus on getting all of these guys maxed out. We're going to buy 200k gold just to grab the two uh, first two cards here. Got the Goblin Hut going to level 11. It'll help out. A little extra hit points. And the Expo. Again, I feel bad. Please look away. There it is. A max level Expo. And the Log. Finally, I am going to get my Log to level 2. So it should be able to handle level 4 Princesses, I think. Alright, so let's get back into the action. And, okay. Alright, we're going to do this one more time. But that's it, okay? No, maybe this is the OP deck of the future. Maybe this is it. Maybe people aren't expecting this. And level 11. Okay, so we've hit a 10, we've hit a 12, and now the 11. And uh, we're going to go ahead and give him the thumbs up and see how we start out here. So, might as well, right? Just throw the Expo down and try to protect it with Goblins. See if they can't keep that Expo up. Alright, Princess Goblins getting in there. Oh, Minion Horde, that is bad. That is bad news for my Expo. That Expo is out of here, and now we've got to stop it from getting to the tower. Dragon works out. Bomber, not going to get a lot of damage on the left-hand side. Dragon moving forward. Try to combine. I like this. This is almost like minor minions, minor mini P.E.K.K.A. The dragon and the goblins work out pretty well together. And that tower takes a lot of damage. And now, clutch log. Here we go. Get the goblins out of the way and push back the musketeer. Not a lot of damage, but it did push her back also. So she only gets a couple of shots off on that tower. And now, the goblin hut wasn't up in the starting deck. So now we can squeeze in the goblin hut. Just in the nick of time as the giant moves in. Princess, though, splash damage, not good. She is going to, oh, more splash. Man, this guy's got splash damage for days. We are going to get the giant down, the bomber down as well. Maybe a goblin. No, let's, let's throw the goblin barrel on the tower. The princess should hopefully fall to the spear. Goblins, goblin barrel on the tower. Come on, get in there. All right, here comes the log. Oh, missed a goblin. There we go, tower down. Log in there and, oh, didn't quite hit the musketeer. Okay, so again... We can shift to defense. We've gotten a tower down. We've got a lot of health on both of our towers. So it's just a matter of trying to hold this guy off. And what better to do that with than a defensive expo? Goblins to run interference. Come on, get in there. We are locked on to the, no, the musketeer. Oh, man. Okay, more goblins. Giant down. Now the musketeer goes down. Too late for the fireball. Musketeer is out of the way. 1,200 hit points or so left. Can we survive? We've got a minute to go. And again, just going to focus on defense, not worrying about any offense. If I can hold him off, maybe yeah, out in front, and uh, the Expo was going to go down. And we've got one Goblin Hut. Could we squeeze in two? Here we go, two Goblin Huts. And we just want to remember that there's a dragon, a, a, a giant coming. We've got to pull it. Oh, man, Minion Horde. Oh, that's a lot of units. Come on, we need some splash damage. Stop the princess. Come on, dragons. Get in there, goblins. And how about, I, I don't even know what to put here. Maybe a... Oh, oh, fireball. Okay, another goblin hut. Gotta be ready for the dragon. You know it's in his deck. You know it's ready. And I'm thinking maybe another goblin hut. Maybe an expo. 
How about both? We'll go Goblin Hut, and then let's try to squeeze in an Expo next. Yep, here comes the Giant. 20 seconds, though. If we can get enough stuff in between, he'll never get there. Let's put it in front of the tower. Come on. And a log on the Princess. Oh, we missed the Bomber. Lots of stuff moving in. Just got to slow him down for it. Eight more seconds. Fireball on the tower. No. Look out. The Expo's about to go. Here comes the Giant. Four, three. Come on. Stop. No. Squeeze it in there. Yes. Time runs out. Oh, <laughs> time runs out. The bomber's last bomb doesn't count, and we win it one crown with the Galagon Green Goblin gobbling up tower deck. This is amazing. This is my new deck. I'm taking this to tournaments. Get ready, you guys. This is going to take me straight to the top. There is no stopping me now that I have gained an ecological conscience with my Galagon Green deck. Thank you guys, as always, for sticking around all the way to the end of this episode. Please do hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for daily Clash content, and I hope to see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Galidon, more like the Galidon Goofy dick if you ask me.